What's up dudes? So I just pulled up to the Cove Wash Trailhead here in uh, Santa Clara, Utah. This is part of the True Grit Epic course. And uh, I'm gonna go out with my buddy Greg, who is a, uh, he is an avid rock crawler, a rockwood kind of guy uh, from Boston, is meeting me here in a couple minutes and we're gonna go out and get rockwood on barrel roll, which comes late if you're doing the, um, the one lap or the 44 mile lap, uh, race at True Grit. It's, uh, it comes very close to the end uh, of your race. If you're doing the two lapper, you're hitting it for the first time very late in your lap. And uh, out towards sort of the, I don't know what it's called, like a saddle, but like the kind of apex of the loop, I think it's only like three and a half miles, is some rock witness. It might catch you off guard, there's some alternative lines. So we're gonna do the loop. I'll show you a little bit of what the whole thing looks like. And we're gonna get rock rid and show you some of the lines on the, uh, the kind of crux section on the, on the back here, dude. All right, let's check it out. Dude, that's some precision driving right there, dude. I think the rack would have been okay. Your rental crook would have suffered. <laughs> We're gonna get Rockwood, dude. We're gonna go out and check out Barrel Rogue. Oh, Let's gonna... go ride it, dude. That's wicked hot, dude. So that goes off to suicidal. Precipice to suicidal. Oh my God, it's the first time my legs have been released. They're like gray. Hey, how's it going? All right, I think we're coming into the the good pat. A little speed. Oh, it's literally right here, yeah. So there's multiple lines coming into here. Is this a line? Yeah, there's a line here. And there's a couple more. And here you can kind of go in or out. It's a little techie all through there. And there's a roller over here too. Oh, they got a little uh, marker rock. Oh yeah, so this is actually has a beautiful transition on it and a marker rock. I don't think it's faster. It's just, this is like the, this is definitely the A-line, but this looks fun. That's why I learned the first time you definitely want to like come into it at a stop and then just let go. Yeah, I think, I mean, I, the second time I did the first time I was a little scary, but I think because it, it is so steep through here, you basically have to be like stopped up there and then you just let it go because the transition's not bad. Beautiful. This is kind of what I want to show you guys. So I think most people, they're gonna come in, try to ride through this little shoot here, it's kind of awkward getting into, especially if you try to stay on the dirt over here. If you do roll right over there, it's pretty good. All right, it's going to all dirt. Just finessing through. Let's come up to the right here. Do this little roll. You could have launched that too. Or you could skim onto that. But yeah, I just kind of came up here. Get the beat! Pass the carrot. You know what I'm talking about? The... How's it going? Yeah, the locals know the lines. Dude, that was so 
Nice. Oh, you worked it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough, especially when you're 80 miles in. That's yeah, tough. <laughs> Ooh. I think that's, you make it here, I think you're golden. And that's the hottest, most rockwood pad of barrel roll. inside on this. This is probably pretty alternative. Still roll. I think the rest of the trail is just kind of fast like that. Guess the rocks aren't over. <laughs> A little slow on the job. Again. Okay. Get everything you need. All right. Cool. All right, you too. Yeah, dude, that's uh, that's barrel roll, part of the True Great Epic course, and uh, just a really easy ride to navigate uh, here from Cove Wash. You just put Cove Wash in your GPS. There's a map there. Yeah, super fun trail. Some good techie bits and uh, some fun flow with some chunk in it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you later. See ya. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this every March. You I should. Can... Free two beer. You know the thing that it's alcohol by weight, not volume here, so it's actually four. So it's a session beer. <laughs> I'm out of this. Uh...